Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Stephen Cartwright Show. Uh, right now, I'm out in the bot, get busy, uh, get ready to go take care of business. But I wanted to make this short video, and I uh, and you know, right now I'm on, I'm I'm gonna lay back out and I'm gonna talk to men, and I really want to talk to men, you know. Uh, gentlemen, is it's coming around that time. It's voting season, and I, I encourage every man to go out there and vote. But whoever you cash your ballot for, I'm gonna be pushing this thing, you know, throughout New Voting Day. You know, we need to talk about this here, and we need to ask ourselves. Are we going to continue to support people that never supported us? I mean, is that what we're going to do? Because everybody around us, they vote their interests. They vote everything that they want to do. They vote uh, 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 the things that's going to most benefit them. Uh, gentlemen, me, myself, I'm the type of person like this here. The person that comes to me to ask me for my vote and they put tangibles behind it and I look at all the ramifications of it because I ain't going to sell my soul. Then I, I, I look at it. See, fellas, we have to look at it. When Trump last ran for president, now, I got to hand it to him. Can't sit there and not hand it to this man. This man put $500 billion on the table. To, for reconstruction for the black community on top of everything that he's already done and and also hear me out gentlemen and also he came up and he honorably asked for our vote he asked us for our support. Democrats ain't never did that. They ain't never took the opportunity to do that. They think it's just a, it's just a given to them. Or even if they do it this time, it'll be because Trump had already done it. But they're not going to put nothing behind it. I don't know about you gentlemen, but I am so sick and tired of supporting people that ain't never supported me. Supporting the ones that ain't did nothing but separated, help to separate our communities. Help to separate our people. You know, and that's liberal Democrats. And us as men, we need to do some damn soul searching. Are we going to keep supporting people that keep thinking of ways to put us down? Are we going to keep doing that? And I already see on uh, 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 here on TikTok how they still trying to blur the line. Not on TikTok. But, uh, yeah, I see it on TikTok. I see it not on TikTok, and I see it on other platforms, how they're still trying to blur the line. Gentlemen, you know, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Anybody that is not in line with liberals, you have to understand this about them. They're coming to destroy your life. 
Not only that they be coming to destroy your public life, they're coming to destroy your personal life. Have y'all noticed how they come? That they'll, they'll destroy your family. They want to destroy you financially in every single way. They want to destroy you. And we have to ask ourselves that, this year, gentlemen, do you really want to be in cahoots with somebody like that? Do you really want to be in cahoots with people like that? They will come after your family. They will come after anything that makes you relevant. And, and I don't know about y'all, gentlemen. Haven't you noticed ever since this man, Donald John Trump, announced he was running for president. It's been investigation after investigation after investigation after investigation. And all the way up to now, they done impeached this man. They done poisoned his, they probably poisoned his wife. Done put so much stuff out there. They got they, they, they done cause infighting between this man and his wife. This is what they do. Do you really want to be in cahoots with a, 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 with people like that? Why, I mean, supporting people like that. Let me tell you something, people. People with mindsets like that. That's how the Vietnam War got started. You know, it is why the world and why American people is so separated because of people like this. And you and, and fellas, I'm talking to the men, and we're gonna support this type of behavior? Are we gonna really support this kind of behavior? We have to do as men to do some reevaluating on these people. They're out to tear this man family up and, that, and, and look at her. That man still got a young child. They ain't trying to do nothing but break him in every single way. I mean, you want to talk about dirty. I'm telling you, people. Us is men. And look at it. How they, and besides, you got to re remember, people, they coming at them like that. You got to remember, he's swinging just like we is, gentlemen. He's swinging just like we is. I have never seen the Democrat Party go after no woman in such a fashion. Never. They're the real bigots. I ain't never seen them go after no woman like that. Never seen them go after no woman like that. Gentlemen, we have to do some soul searching. Why in the world are we going to continue to support people like this? Do your life have any meaning? Do your life have any purpose to it? Because quite obviously... They don't think that your life has no purpose. They don't think that your life have nothing, uh, have, uh, has no type of meaning but to serve them and them alone. That's something you men need, uh, uh, need to ask yourself. You have to ask yourself. You really and truly need to ask yourself. Men need to start asking themselves these hard, uh, asking themselves these real questions. These real life altering questions. These real questions that is relevant to us. 
We have to ask these questions. I'm done supporting people that has never supported me. I'm done with that. I'm done with that. And I'm not taking up but Donald Trump in any way because he's uh, 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 big enough to take up for himself. I just noticed that consistent pattern that they use all the time. It's a consistent pattern. And it's an ugly one too. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to bring this video to a close. And, and men, we have something to think about. Are you still going to go and cast your vote for people that has never supported you? We love you, ladies and gentlemen. And of course, peace out.